part we shall be learning about the balancing the system pressure what is balancing of system pressure balancing of system pressure is the pressure supplied to the area of applications should not be very high in other words more than its required density in the flow as the system is start and the discharge from the pumps at that point there is a maximum flow and the maximum head generated which is equivalent to the system pressure as soon as we proceed further along with the supply pipelines and the static head the gradually the pressure reduces because of the static head it has to overcome and the friction through the pipelines this way until we reach to the a design point which we had worked out on the basis of the minimum pressure required at the remotest point so in between wherever the distances are there the pressure will be varying if the flow are branched and used for the purpose of fire extinguishing for this purpose we have to control the pressure the excess pressure should not discharge the excess water which shall not be able to meet the design criteria of supplying the pipe with the required density it will be always more flow and the more discharge and the system may not last for a longer duration just to overcome this problems we have to control the flow and the pressure at the place where the branches are in application to extinguish the fire the pressure control and the flow control is achieved either by the pressure reducing valve or by the orifice plate we have a tabulated sizing of the orifice plate also a explained formula for sizing the orifice orifice plates is also explained over here so you may see over here on this slide which are explained that how the orifice plate should be sized and what should be its in minimum size and what is the applications required for the flow controls and the pressure control and the minimum size of the pipes where the orifice plate can be applied this side this slide which we are having it is given the calculated pressure losses according to its pipe diameter sorry this is table 32 is explain the orifice plate size 
for the 50 mm and 65 mm dial with a given K factor. Similarly, in the table 32, we are having the pipes right up to the size of 200. See, when calculating the orifice plate, these two criteria will be followed. For the light hazard, we should allow the flow of 16-20 liters per minute. That is the outlet flow and the pressure for the outlet should be size to 5.6 bar. These are in the two condition when the flow is 16-20 liters or 1800 liters per minute. This is the flow of the pump which we are using for the application in the light hazard. Similarly, with this flow in the moderate hazard, we are having the orifice plate installed to control the flow and the pressure and this is for the high hazard. Whatever the procedure we follow, these are the guidelines and this is the formula if you want to calculate further in details with the formula. Should be followed according to the K factor we are going to have in the system.